Yo, what's up guys? Andy from TapLab here, back with another Cash App Stocks video. Today I'm gonna to show you a brand new feature that allows you to place a limit orders. Okay, so here we are on Cash App in the investing section. You can see that we're on stocks up at the top of the screen. They also have Bitcoin. We're just gonna be talking about stocks today. If you aren't familiar with the rest of the features in this app, Cash App is a full service banking and investing app. And I have hundreds of other tutorials and experiments on my channel for you guys to learn how to use it. You can also sign up with the link in the description and get $5 for free. So let's get into this. This is a brand new feature that Cash App just launched that allows you to place limit orders. And what Cash App is calling it is a custom order. So the traditional stock market term is a limit order. Cash App is calling it a custom order. It's the same thing. But what it does is it allows you to place an order at a certain price. So let's tap into a stock here. We'll take a look at Square. So the current price of Square is $254.76. So I can say if I want to buy Square when it goes back down, to $250, I can place an order and do that. Or if I want to sell some of my square when it gets to $260, I can place an order to do that. And then once it hits that price point, that order will automatically be executed. So this is a feature to cater to the more advanced users. If you don't wanna use this feature, you can still do the instant market orders. You just tap buy or sell, tap the amount, tap next, scan your fingerprint, confirm just like that you do an instant market order so i purchased one dollar a square just like that now like i said the price is 255 right now but i can tap buy and then there's this little drop down right under where it says buy square so this is going to give us some more options we have the auto invest which i've talked about before or now we have custom purchase aka limit orders so let's go ahead and tap on custom purchase we're going to get this dashboard here so we're on a one month view you can see that down at the bottom of the screen let's go to a one year view so we get a bigger picture of this chart and now we have this thing that we can drag up and down so let's drag this to like 250 you can see it's jumping in two dollars and fifty cent increments right there so two hundred fifty dollars which is two point one five percent lower than it currently is and also if you want to just type in an amount you can tap this calculator icon in the top right corner and type in any amount that you want so like two hundred dollars could go that route but i'm just going to use this dragger for now because that's the thing that most people use let's put this on 250 tap set there in the middle how much square would you like to buy if the share price goes down to 250 dollars so let's just do one dollar tap next and we can set how long this order will last for so let's just do 90 days if within the next 90 days the price goes down to 250 dollars it'll automatically buy one dollar of square stock for me so let's tap next scan my fingerprint it's going to give us the order details there everything that we just went through and tap confirm so just like that custom order has been set now let's scroll down here and we can see all of our information for square so i'm going to tap view all and it's going to show me my pending so you can see i did one of these earlier just messing around with it to at 218 dollars i also have one at 250 now and these are the custom orders right here under pending and these are all the ones that i've completed so yeah, very cool stuff. That's how you use the custom orders for buying. It would be cool if they implemented that into the chart right here as well. So like if you could see like a dotted line where you have your buy order set, that would be a pretty dope feature. But what people will do is they'll kind of layer these. If it goes down to 245, maybe I buy $10. If it goes to 240, maybe I buy $20. If it goes to 225, maybe I buy 100, you know, they kind of layer it as it goes down but there's how to navigate the buying side let's go ahead and dive into the selling side so let's tap sell here like always you can sell um just market orders like usual if i want to sell a dollar i can do that just go through the process i'm not going to sell any right now let's do a sell custom order so under where it says sell square tap that drop down menu go to custom sell order so now we're going to place an order where we want to sell this so let's just say I want to sell if it goes up to $280. So I just drag the slider, click set. It's gonna ask me how much would I like to sell at that price? So let's just say $10. Tap next, 90 days. So if within the next 90 days, the price goes to $280, 
I'm gonna sell $10 worth of Square stock. Tap next, scan my fingerprint, it's going to give you a little more information here. Basically, sometimes it can't give the exact, exact price, but it's going to do its best. That's what this is saying. So it might be $279.98. It might be $280.02. It's going to try its best and uh, be close to what you set. So you have to tap OK there. It's going to give you the full order details. Tap Confirm. So there we go. Custom sell order has been set. Tap done. Now we can scroll down here, go to view all. And under my pending, we can see all these custom orders that I've placed. So it's gonna buy if it hits those prices. It's gonna sell if it hits that price. And if I wanna cancel this, just tap the cancel button there on the right side of the screen. Are you sure you wanna cancel this $10 custom sale of Square Stock? Yes. Just like that, my custom sell order is gone. Close that out. And there you have it. There's an overview of limit orders for stocks on Cash App. They've done a very good job of designing this, making it easy to do, easy for people to understand. It's a great addition to the investing section of the app. It's not available for Bitcoin yet, as you can see, but hopefully they make uh, those custom or limit orders available for Bitcoin soon. But that'll do it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try and answer those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't lay your problems on the path.